Welcome back. One magician has already bested our boys. Can we make it two? Here comes our next magician. Both my grandfathers were in the military. It just made sense to me to go into the military myself. But at age 13, a pediatric neurologist diagnosed me with Tourette syndrome. I've had tics more or less my entire life. Sometimes they wax, sometimes they wane, but they are always there. And the crazy thing, when I'm on stage, they're gone, like a magic trick. I couldn't be in the military, but I still wanted to contribute to the troops. So I've done military shows all over the world. In one of my military tours, I decided that I was going to share that I have Tourette syndrome. All of a sudden, people were coming up to me after shows and they wanted to talk to me, not just because of the magic, they wanted to talk to me because I got real and they connected with that. That was life-changing for me. I've been embarrassed by the tics into my 30s. I wasn't embarrassed anymore, I just realized it was part of who I am. The moment that I'm just a person who knows some cool things, the wall drops and we're all human together. Nashville is known for Johnny Cash, the Grand Old Opry, and now, Jason Michael. Four letter words. Words that offend. Words that get you into trouble. Fighting words. And to people like me, who grew up with Tourette syndrome, words that embarrass. These are alphabet cards. A bunch of cards with letters printed on them. Kids use these to practice spelling. I use them for magic. Watch closely as I attempt to both shuffle and cut the cards out of this deck that will spell the word fool, which is what I hope to do to Pin and Teller here tonight. Remember, the word is fool. Ah, I got the L. The, uh, oh, hell. <laughs> I am so sorry. I was, I was afraid something like this might happen. I tell you what, let's put these cards on a timeout. <sighs> I've lived most of my life with Tourette syndrome, which is a syndrome that manifests itself through both physical and verbal cues. And um, it is quite difficult, but uh, over time I was able to get the tics under control. But the symptoms, they didn't vanish. They just transferred themselves to my cards. And now my cards, well, they can't stop cussing. Sometimes it's magical and sometimes it's a giant pain in the... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes the cards work against me, but sometimes they work with me. Now that it appears they're cooperating, let me see if I can cut the cards out of the deck that spell the word fool. Ah, awesome. All right, this next one should be an O. F U. Oh, oh, oh gosh, I, um... Oh, you know what it is? Okay, I know what it is. They are, uh, here's what they're doing. They're uh, abbreviating the phrase fool us, obviously. The, nope, that's not what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, let's, uh, let's teach these cards a lesson. I will give the cards a shuffle, and in so doing, I will put them in a random order. See what I mean? A random Jason? Wow, this is not so random. <laughs> Jason is a... Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Oh, Jason is a... Well, okay. All right, that's not as, not as bad as I thought it was. A, okay, Jason is a bitch. All right, well. All right. Let's go back to the beginning. At age 13, I was diagnosed with Tourette's, and life was difficult. But at age 16, I fell in love with magic. And when I performed magic, the tics disappeared and people would applaud me for doing something well instead of laughing at me over something I couldn't control. You might say that magic gave me a second chance and that is why I am going to give the cards a second chance. One shuffle, literally as simple as it gets. And by giving the cards that one shuffle, I have helped them overcome their Tourette's. So now they should be in perfect order from the A, B, C all the way to the X, Y, Z. And if I cast a shadow over the cards that spelled out H-E-L-L -L a moment ago, they now spell out the word fool. <laughs> ah, damn. <laughs> you, I'm Jason Michaels. <laughs> I mean, thank you, I'm Jason Michaels. I'm just 
so excited to see how they're going to bleep cards. <laughs> well, that's a that's a very yeah, that's a good uh, that's a good question. I don't know how they're going to do that. You're very comfortable being honest with your audience. I was massively embarrassed by Tourette's up until I was in my 30s. The uncontrollable tics and twitches, I I just I was paralyzed by people saying things to me that were unkind. And uh, what happened was when I started talking about it, all of a sudden it normalized. And I didn't, I realized it wasn't something to be embarrassed by. It was something that was just part of who I am. Yeah. And so. you, you probably were educating, you know, people who didn't know about it. I believe that the awareness is quite good now. The yes. education is good, but I think that we can still do better because yeah. I still hear from people who have really tough stories about living with something like this. Right. Okay, Jason, let's find out if Penn and Teller know how to spell you fooled us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jason, you know, um, Allen Ginsberg, the great beat poet, said the poet stands naked on stage. And I think that goes for all art. And to take everything that's true about us and all the things that we, we worried about and overcame and then turn that into something uh, beautiful and artistic and in your case, incredibly funny, uh, is, uh, is really great. The way you uh, set up the jokes and just uh, knock them right down. It's just wonderful how it's, uh, how it's set up. You let us get ahead of you a little bit and then surprise us and then turn it and all the comedy was just, just wonderful and it's so funny and it feels so much like you and so honest. But I gotta tell you, Jason, it's a tough show. It's a tough show because between us, we have, um, we have over a century of experience in magic. And we learned a lot more since doing this show. So the deck is stacked against you, Jason. I just want you to know that. So as, even though you did a great, great job and your moves are wonderful and we love the routine, we love the much your heart you gave, uh, we don't think you fooled us. Did they code the solution to your trick? They're some of the most clever magicians in the world. They got it. Oh, well, thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank Jason you. Thanks a lot, Jason. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> if you need a break, we've got one for you. If you want more magic, you'll get that too. Don't go anywhere.